Right, folks, so the last video that you saw was a couple of months back. Um, we're back again now for phase two. We're just doing it as and when the client needs us to do it and as it works in with our schedule. So we're back now and I'll show you where we're up to. This is what we've got now. Looking a lot, lot clearer. Still a bit more excavation to do. So since the last video, Craig and Kev have been back and they've relayed this patio. The customer wanted everything laying that back exactly how it was. So literally we took one line up, stacked it, and the same right the way down, excavated it, and then we've relayed it. So there's a few cracked ones in there, but he wanted to keep the character exactly the way it was. But now it's just more level. And then here we have excavated a lot of this. We've still got a bit more to take down there. We need to put an access pathway to there for this house. And then we're gonna have a central pathway down there uh, and there's going to be a sheeting area on the right. <laughs> We're going to have a step down here. Um, sheeting area in that corner. Uh, gravel pathways, borders. Uh, as you can see, the garden is on a really <laughs> crazy angle. Funny shape down this end. Not too bad up there. That fence tapers in a little bit. So what the design we've done is to try and keep everything square and lose the angle in the borders so you'll see as the job evolves let's go just to give access for next door that's going to be infilled with gravel and then we've set out this now so we know where we're going with the pathway this is going to be a, a clay block herringbone path leading to the bottom end of the garden with a little sheeting area there for uh, little 
gazebo pergola, which is he's got on site already. So that's going to be situated there. He's going to be planting beds either side. So today's task is building the wall there with brick that was already on site. So we're going to be framing the path either side there with that. That's why we've marked it out now. So we know where we're going with that. So we're going to build that up. And Craig is going to be laying the path over in the far corner. gonna make a mess oh, oh.
Woods. about six weeks since we've been here when we were here last we built this wall and that patio down there and today i'm on my own Saturday shift i'm going to be making a start on this pathway which will be a head and bone path linking the two areas together so i'm just going to start by setting up my lines and getting the perimeter in today and forming the first part of the step once that's done come back again when we get a minute, probably next week, and um, put the path in. There's also a seating area going there, which I might get onto if we get time today. And these are the block we're using, clay block, especially made for paving, frost resistance. So yeah, they're gonna be there, and it's gonna look really nice this when it's done. Looking forward to carrying, carrying on with it.
Right, so we're back and all this is set now. We've still got a horn to the edgings there, so we'll be doing that. I'm going to be working on this step, forming that, and then we've got edgings running round to split the gravel path up from the lawn. So today we're going to be focusing on this area. Kev's just digging out some holes here for a pergola, which is going to be going in. And then Jacob will shortly be paving there as well, because we've got a little sheeting area for, for this wooden structure. So he's going to be getting on with that in a bit. Say so he's there behind the camera. <laughs> Go. <laughs> There's Craig. Don't get the ball spot in.
Sita. So halfway through building this, just suddenly thought I should have done it differently. So I changed the last few days. So what I've done is put a full one in instead of half and it just breaks that bond there and brings it into one. I think it looks better. So I've just got to go back now and take them out there and replace them. What do you say, Craig? I say, let's get it done. <laughs> what do you say, Jay? What do you say? Say what? Say what? Say what? <laughs> That's a yes. Three yeses. Let's get it done. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down, feel alive. It's just 
just what I do when I'm out so beautiful day beautiful day the lads are smiling so it must be good so we've got three posts down either side for a pergola going in now kev's just digging those holes we'll get those in today all these edgings down here just being hunched up and then we've got soil coming soon get this topped up to height it's here coming tomorrow i to do a bit of prep on this path, get the stone in there, ready for the gravel. And yeah, that's it. Are we good, boys? Sam? Yeah. Are we happy? Yeah.
Last block going in. managed to get these beautiful five-sided sandstone reclaimed copings from uh, a yard that we go to it's even got the original uh, steel from the railings for anyone who doesn't know during the war 
uh, they were cut down and used to make planes, all the railings around Liverpool, uh, around this area anyway. Not sure about anywhere else. So yeah, we've got we've got this one which is 300 back off the end and the same 300 back on that one there. So we're just gonna cut the same splay that we've got here to form and then the coping. So we're gonna cut that back, dress it up and do the same on this one. It's actually got someone's name on there. Sm Smoggy or Smogs. Hello if you're out there, mate. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are gonna look pretty grand on the top of this wall, gonna look stunning. Can't wait to get them on. Feathers in my hair and braids around my waist I'm almost a bird These mountain views and pink sunsets Got me shit in the skin
Thank you. 